pharmacist here at Primary Plus, and we have this video here for you today to tell you about your Advair inhaler, and we're also going to demonstrate how to use it and how to clean it. Advair can be used to treat COPD or asthma, and it's got two different drugs in it that will help reduce the inflammation in your airway and allow air to flow through better. That being said, this is not a rescue inhaler and it should not be used if you have a sudden onset of symptoms. You should always carry a rescue inhaler in case that happens. Advair is gonna work the best if you use it twice a day, preferably the same time every day and 12 hours apart. That way, if you use it routinely, it can keep the level of inflammation in your airways low and hopefully you'll have fewer flare-ups. If you miss a dose of Advair, take it as soon as you remember. Unless, for instance, you don't remember until the next morning. We don't want you to do more than two puffs in 24 hours. If that were to happen, just resume your normal dosing schedule. When you get your inhaler home, it's going to come in a cardboard box. And inside the cardboard box, it'll be sealed in a foil container. Until you're ready to use it, keep it in this box and in the foil container in a cool, dry place about room temperature. When you are ready to use it and you open that foil container, you'll notice that there's a label on the actual inhaler. If you write down the first date that you use it, that will help you keep track and make sure that you don't use this inhaler for more than 30 days. Hold the discus in your left hand and place the thumb of your right hand on the thumb grip. Push the thumb grip away from you as far as it will go until the mouthpiece shows and snaps into place. Hold the discus in a level, flat position with the mouthpiece towards you. Slide the lever away from the mouthpiece as far as it will go until it clicks. The number on the counter will count down by one. The discus is now ready to use. It's important that you do not close it, tilt it, or move the lever, otherwise you will waste a dose. Breathe out for as long as you can while you hold the discus level and away from your mouth. Don't breathe into the mouthpiece. Put the mouthpiece to your lips Breathe in quickly and deeply through the discus. Don't breathe in through your nose. Remove the discus from your mouth and hold your breath for about 10 seconds or for as long as is comfortable to you. Breathe out as slowly as you can. The medicine's a very fine powder that you may not taste or feel, but don't take an extra dose even if you don't taste or feel the medicine. Close your discus by placing the thumb on the thumb grip and sliding it back towards you as far as it will go. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do once you close your inhaler is to go rinse your mouth with water and make sure that you spit it out and not swallow it. You're also gonna to wanna to keep an eye on the counter on your inhaler. When you open it, there's going to be 60 doses or a one month supply. Once that counter gets down to five, it's gonna turn red and that should prompt you to call your pharmacy and ask for a refill. And that way we can make sure that you don't go without a dose of your medicine. Now, once this counter gets down to zero, it's still gonna function. You're gonna hear the clicking and it'll work as normal, but you won't be getting the proper amount of drug each dose. So once that counter gets to zero, don't use it anymore and just dispose of it. To clean your discus inhaler, wipe the mouthpiece with a dry cloth or tissue only. Never immerse the discus in water. Thanks for watching our video and we hope that you find it helpful. If you find that you have additional questions, you can always call one of our pharmacies and we'd be happy to help you.